At least I'll try. The head there is pretty big there on campus. Yes, it is like a bobblehead. Our big man on campus series is rolling north to NAU. While most view Flagstaff as a nice, cool getaway, Northern Arizona University is home to a world-renowned science lab, and it all started with a phone call from the FBI. Meet Dr. Anthrax, also known as NAU Regents Professor of Biology, Dr. Paul Kine. People still introduce me as Dr. Anthrax, and of course people's eyes get big and, and they smile because they remember all this stuff. But it's no laughing matter on how he earned his nickname, the 2001 Anthrax Attacks. Knowing anthrax is a bacterial disease, the question, is this a disease outbreak or someone deliberately sending it? One of the things the FBI did, they subpoenaed all of the anthrax in the United States, at least from all the laboratories in the United States. And so then we did DNA analysis on every single sample of anthrax in the United States, and then we could compare what was in the anthrax letters back to that database. After a late night of sequencing the DNA, looking at the genetic code, and building an ancestry model in the NAU lab, they cracked the case. It was startling, chilling. Uh, at that point, we knew that this was a bioterrorism event. Since, Dr. Keim has continued to focus on being a disease detective. Flagstaff is a great place to study infectious diseases. And now he's passing that knowledge on to his students. I get fecal samples from patients who have C. diff, and that's what we use to isolate all our samples from, and that's... Learning from the scientists who cracked a major bioterrorism case, in the tiny town of Flagstaff. And so the students that come to NAU get a chance to work in, in an internationally renowned laboratory, some of the best scientists in the world. Uh, when they leave here, uh, they carry that with them. Getting back to the anthrax part, as you know, the suspect was later identified as Army biologist uh, Bruce Ivins, who committed suicide before being prosecuted. However, there are many who dispute he was actually behind those anthrax attacks, but the case has now been closed. Now, according to Dr. Kine, because the NAU lab is so recognized, his students go on to be accepted into uh, world-renowned medical wow. schools, and sometimes they're sought after pushing aside those coming from prestigious universities, yeah. which really, really is cool. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to take you to the world's largest ponderosa pine classroom. So you got to stick nice. around for that. Well, and a professor like that, he could go anywhere he wanted. Oh, you know? absolutely. And he and chooses flags. When, when he said he was coming back, he didn't realize or didn't, think that NAU and Flagstaff was the spot for him, but they told him they wanted to do top-notch work, and he's since so uh, cool. lived up to that potential. So yeah, that's cool awesome. Stuff. Javi, thank you.